祭り、晴れ、and 生きがい。A Japanese secret to health and longevity. That's something I'm going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Hachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. Before talking about today's topic, I'd like to share with you that I have been on a podcast program. Yeah, it's called the Ikigai Podcast by Nicholas Kemp, who is the author of Ikigai Kan. It's a great book. Yeah, I wrote a blog post about this book、uh, on ikigaidiet.com, so please read it. Yeah, to know more about this book. Yeah, anyway, so the Nick interviewed me on his podcast program. It's the Ikigai podcast. Yeah, and then if you scroll down, you find my program, my, my you know, my, my sort of a talk here, Ikigai Biohacking with Tachiaki Takamiya. It's a、uh, number 57. Yeah, so if you know such, number 57. On Ikigai podcast. Yeah. Basically, Nick interviewed me about the book Ikigai Biohacking, and there's two parts. This is the part one, and next week,、uh, the part two will be released. So please listen to both of them. Thank you. Hino Matsuri was held on May 3rd. We have this festival once a year. Matsuri means a festival in Japanese and it is a religious ceremony at a Shinto shrine.、Yeah. There are many Matsuri throughout Japan and Matsuri is a great part of our culture and it served to provide Ikigai to people in the past. So, today I'll share with you how Matsuri and Ikigai are related. I just, I just shared with you a short clip of Hino Matsuri. Yeah, so、uh, Matsuri and Hare are similar. Yeah, you know, I often talk about Hare and Ke, as in Hare and Ke intermittent fasting, right? Yeah, so Hare and K. e Yeah, what are Hare and K e mean? Hare means festival celebrations or ceremonies, and K e is usual and everyday life. Yeah, therefore, at、uh, the time of Matsuri, you know, the time of festival is the time of Hare. Yeah, and usually we have feast. On the time of Hare, and sometimes there are special meals at the time of Matsuri. And this one is called Tai Somen, which is a Kyodo Ryori, like a local dish that I shared with you in my book, The Ikigai Diet. Yeah. And, but we have this, we have this dish on the day of Hino Matsuri in Hino Town. Yeah.、Uh, so Tai is a sea b r i m And、uh, so many is the Japanese、uh, very thin noodles. Yeah. And usually、uh, we use a special plate、uh, for hare dish. So we have a hare dish and ke dish. Ke, ke period usually we just have very simple frugal meals. Right. And then、uh, hare was our ikigai in the past. So, what does ikigai mean? It means a daily joys or pleasures that motivate you to live. And another meaning is life purpose or goal that defines who you are. So, in this time, the first definition of ikigai, you know, daily joys or pleasures that motivate you to live. Yeah. So,、uh, like now, If I talk about my ikigai, I can say Nordic walking is my ikigai or morning coffee is my ikigai. So, some sort of small things, like small pleasures and joys、uh, that can you know, please you, becomes your ikigai. Yeah? But in the past,、uh, during the K period, most people were busy working and so on, and there were not many you know, kind of pleasurable、uh, time. right? So, Hale. Was the time to enjoy life. 
Yeah. Um, so the Hare kind of provided entertainment. Okay, Matsuri was an entertainment, and also uh Matsuri was a communal event. So you have a communication with your neighbors and friends and, and so on. So it was very much the time to look for the two. And we have not only just one festival a year, but the many small seasonal events. Yeah. Like in our town, we have the New Year Festival, Spring Festival, Autumn Festival, and then you know, Taue, like rice planting, like uh, after that Taue, we have a, a small kind of a drinking party type of things. And, you know, the harvesting season, we have some like a drinking party event and so on. So like throughout the year, we have lots of seasonal, you know, small matsuri. Yeah. And those all served to provide ikigai to the people in the past because they didn't have any other entertainment. But now things are different because we have a, you know, we get to go to see movies and we get to go to amusement parks and, you know, there are all kinds of restaurants to go to. So now uh, we have, you know, so many opportunities to entertain ourselves and, and so on. So Matsuri is not as significant as it was in the past, but still uh, many, many people enjoy, you know, going to Matsuri. Yeah, right. But anyway, uh, it is important to have this kind of hare period to enjoy yourself for your health and longevity and i think it was very much uh the secret of japanese health secret to uh japanese health and longevity um now so how to create your own matsuri yeah so usually with hare and the care intermittent fasting or hare and ke diet within the ikigai diet uh, i said during the week to be ke period and the weekend to be hare period so you can kind of uh, you know enjoy yourself on the weekend but to create more like a matsuri actual matsuri so you know the weekend is like a very small event yeah you can kind of uh, create your own matsuri like once a month yeah and that is to do ima iwai. Ima iwai means celebrating the present moment, the celebrating here and now. Yeah. So uh, in the Ikigai biohacking book, I talked about Shion Kansha meditation and ima iwai. And Shion Kansha meditation is to appreciate uh, things that are happening in your life now yeah so something you can feel grateful for yeah there must be some positive element in your life now and then focus on that positive element and appreciate uh, that to god uh, every day that is hion kansha but you can do the same thing with uh, ima iwai so this time not just simply appreciating but celebrating it with feast and a drink and then just enjoying this you know positive element of your life and that will transform your mindset completely yeah because it is a kind of three-dimensional you know your whole body is experiencing this moment not just purely visualizing yeah it's a kind of kinesthetic experience too yeah so by practicing ima iwai once a month you can uh, you can make it your ikigai too yeah um and also i usually do it on a full moon night yeah i, I mean sometimes full moon night i uh, can be during the week so it, it's difficult to you know drink and stuff like that so in that case you can choose the nearest weekend from the full moon and then if you do ima iwai it becomes a great ikigai for you yeah now so having hare and ke is critical because it gives you the balance between tension and relaxation so ke period is a kind of tension time you discipline yourself maybe you stay on a plant-based diet you practice intermittent fasting you know you exercise it's a kind of disciplined period but you need 
relaxation period. So hare becomes a relaxation period that you release yourself, you let go and just enjoy life. Yeah, the balance between the two is critical. Now, many people don't understand this. So they practice intermittent fasting every single day. Yeah, they stay on a plant-based diet every single day. They exercise, they, you know, do hit. They go zone to jogging every single day. They have a sauna every single day. Come on, you know, take a break, relax. Yeah, create this balance, yeah, of care and care. Yeah, then you can enjoy your life more and that will help you live longer and become healthier. Right, so to know more about Hare and Ke intermittent fasting, like how to practice it and when to do it and so on, plus Ima Iwai, please read my book, Ikigai Biohacking, Biohacking based on Japanese natural health. And if you want to know about the book, please listen to the podcast interview with Nick. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. And if you like this video, please give me your thumb up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I have over 1,000 subscribers. I'm very happy. Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. And please leave your comment. Yeah. Have you been to any Japanese matsuri? Yeah. Or uh, like you have festivals in your own country, right? What kind of festivals do you have? Yeah. And how do you celebrate them? Okay. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. Live with your ikigai.